I'm joined by Tommy Williams after this afternoon's 1-0 defeat at Lewis. Tommy, we had a lot of chances there today, most notably the penalty in the second half. How have we not come away with three points? Well, I think second half um, we dominated possession, um, hugely on top if, in terms of chances as well. Um, I, I don't know how we've not taken one of those. I think if we'd come away winning 4 0 today, they'd have no complaints. But um, for me, I was disappointed with our first half performance, um, and I feel we've only played for 45 minutes today. And I've said to him that he can't turn up to games and, and, and waste minutes, and we've certainly done that today. Uh, we went in the ten aside at half time, but our tactics certainly seemed spot on better than their tactics for the second half, playing 10 against 10. We created numerous chances. What was your take on the two red cards in the first half? One for us and one for them. Um, <clears throat> Alex, I mean, to be fair, he's, he's, he's been, he was in tears at half time with, um, with being sent off. I warned him before the game, you know, the lad Tom Davis, he's, he's experienced, um, he's made a career out of getting people sent off and, um, you know, he's a, he's a good player, but, you know, he's, he's, I think it's poor from him. Um, He's gone down holding his head when it was it was nowhere nowhere near anything like that, you know. And it, and I, I don't think it was a dirty game today. I thought it was um, quite a clean game, and we've had three three sendings off. But um, yeah, I, I warned him before the game about him, um, and um, unfortunately, we, he, Alex got uh, suckered into that trap, and um, you know he's going to serve a three game ban now. And what was your take on the Lewis red card just before half time? Was that the referee evening things up, or I, was, was that a. I, I couldn't see, to be honest. To, to be honest, if you have a look at Steve Laidler's um, uh, leg, it's, uh, you know, he's got a massive mark on there. The lad's gone over the ball and, um, and gone straight down on his shin. Um, I don't think there was any need to. Um, he could have won the ball, but he went over the top of the ball, and, uh, you know, in this day and age, you can't tackle like that. How different a game is it if Pico scores the penalty? Yeah, I do. I think we obviously, you know, I've always said all season our goals sort of change games, and you know, I think um, if that goes in, you know, we probably go on and take, you know, one or two more chances. But it, it, it wasn't meant to be. But you know, um, it's put a huge dent in our playoff hopes now. Um, and you know, like I say, I'm disappointed that we've only turned up for 45. But second half, we absolutely dominated the game. Um, we sort of camped in their half, and you know their managers spoke to me after the game and, and, and said how we how we didn't win the game is, is is unbelievable. But that's rhyme and football, and that's football in itself. And you know I, I, we need to pick ourselves up, and you know if we're going to get into the playoffs, we're going to be certainly doing it doing it the hard way. We've spoken so many times this season about how Rob Tolfrey has saved us in games. Even today, before they scored, I broke down that he made an absolutely amazing save. Was he perhaps at fault for the winning goal today? Yeah, I mean, he, he knows he was. He's, 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 he's come out to catch it and it's, it's actually gone through his arms and it's you know given the lad a clear, open goal to finish. So um, he's disappointed with that. He's, he's, he's been um, a professional character this year and he's, you know, he's had a great season you know so you know it's it's rare that he makes a mistake but it does happen from time to time so he needs to pick himself up and, and go again as you say if we are going to make the playoffs it's going to have to be the hard way how, how confident are you that we can force ourselves into that mix from here with nine well, games to go i've just had a glance at the um the results and they haven't gone too badly for us today um but you know, it's, I think we're five points off of it. Um, so, you know, I, I, I certainly think we, we need to take maximum points and go on a run now. We, you know, draws are no good for us. We need to make sure that we're taking maximum points if we're going to get in there. But we've given ourselves a bit of a mountain to climb now because of today's results. If we'd gone and got ourselves three points today, we, we would have been right in the, in the thick of it. But, um, you know, like I say, it's, it's, it's going to be a... a, a a tough way if we're gonna if we're gonna get in there, but certainly it's still possible. And you know, I'll, I'll always keep the belief I'm a positive person, and you know, I'll make sure that's um, put across to the lads like I always do. And you know, we, we'll have to get ourselves ready this week and make sure that we're, we're prepared for next Saturday at home.